Hello dear students, in the previous video, we have already covered the addition operator program in Prolog. Now in this video, we are going to cover all these remaining operators that are arithmetic operators completely in this video. So please watch it till end and understand it if any doubt is remaining, then please comment. Okay, so uh, we have done the addition operator. Uh, this program we have already done in our previous lab. So here what was uh, done is we have called a rule for sum where we are taking two variables x and y and storing the result s in x and y and then printing the final result. Okay. So, uh, next which I want to do is the subtraction operator. So, uh, we are doing this in a single output file. As we have already known that uh, a calculator is something which can uh, apply any operator on some particular set of values and can print the result. So, what we are trying to uh, form with this is a particular type of calculator that whenever I want to do add for example, I want to do 5 plus 6, then the uh, machine, then the code will give me output. Also, if I want to subtract them, then also the machine will give output. So, what I am here trying to do is writing all these operators in a single program over here and then calling the one whichever we want to uh, find the result. So, here what I need to do is for difference, I will call, I will use a rule. DIFF and here one more uh, thing is the percentage sign is used here for comment to tell that this particular set of line this particular code is for finding this sum so it's a better approach to understand the code so whenever you write something uh, on code or uh, on any language try to uh, mention the comments as well so whenever you revise or try to understand if you find any error then it will be helpful for you. So here I am finding the difference and I will take uh, di double f that is difference as a rule and I am defining it same I am taking two variables over here and then the next line what I need to do the same thing I need to do which I have done here same thing I am doing here. So here I am let me take me another variable like d in which I am storing the result and x minus y and what we want to do now write that is printing the result. So uh, this is for difference. Till now till here what I have done only uh, two programs that is sum and difference. Uh, first I will make this execute and show it to you that this is working fine that when I will call sum then it will get the sum and when I call difference it will call the difference so what we need to do here is file save as and here I am uh, remaining the name same or you can change it to sum div.pl uh, as we have done two programs over here and we have to save it as all files then save so you can see here the file is read. So we will call it here it is saying compile 11 lines read. So here the first let us try the DIFS. I'll call this and take two values and find the result. So DIFS. And two values I am taking here is 10 and 2 just for example. So it is printing 8. It is okay with difference. Now let's try with sum. Is it working on sum also for the same values? Yes, it is working fine. That means we are able to write two different code in the single one way. In a single program. So next is of multiplication operator. So, what I need to do here is same thing. We can check it from here that uh, what we are doing is we are finding the product. To find the product and I am using mul as a rule and this. So, 
I will do copy paste this to this file where we have already created the two programs. Okay. So here mul is a rule which is defining how to do multiplication of these two variables and then I am storing the result in m and then I am printing the result. Okay. So here mul for multiply we are using the star operator. Uh, in this, uh, now I'll write all the code and then execute all of them finally in the console, not one by one. So next is division operator. So division, here is a mistake. Uh, this operator is not used. Actually, slash is used. So I'll show you here that. Uh, okay. This operator is used for division. So to divide and power okay. Now let's discuss them So uh, to find the product we have already discussed To divide we are using this operator And this will print the result of the division And then we are finally writing the result to find the power, for example, 2 to the power 5, you want to find 2 to the power 7, something like this values, then you can use power, this is the rule, and uh, which we are defining in our console, uh, for our console here, and we are using two star operators for power. Two star operators means power, that means 2 to the power 5, 3 to the power 9, you can calculate any value with this. Now, what is the integer division? Integer division is something, for example, if you calculate something like, uh, if you calculate 7 divided by 2, then you get the result as 3.5. So, 3.5 will be displayed when we are using the simply divide. That means this operator. When I am using this operator, then I will get the result as divide. In some cases, we want the whole number result. Where point values are not acceptable. Like uh, you have done mensuration questions where we have to find the number of breaks or number of something. So number can be, can't be in float values. It is an in integer. So here in that cases, I need to convert the float values into the integer. So when I am using the integer division for 7 divided by 2, then I will get the result as 3. And for this operator, this is called as firstly integer division. And the operator I am using for it is double slash. Okay. So when I use this, then I will get the result as a whole number. And when I am using single, that is division only. So then I will get the float value also. So this is the integer division. Next is the modulus. For modulus, there are two methods to write it. Uh, we have used one of them. That is m is x mod uh, y. And mod x comma y we can fix it there. We can also use that. So m is x mod y. This we are using. And then it will print the mod. Mod, for example, for mod we can take an example like... Uh, if I am uh, taking mod of something like 7 mod 7 mod 13 then I will get result as 7 and if I am taking 26 mod 13 then I will get result as 0. This is the example of mod. That is a remainder. It will show you the remainder. And to find the square root, you know square root is what like uh, square root of 4. If I am taking the square root of 4, then it is 2. And same for other values also. For example, if I am taking SQRT of Twenty-five. So here I'll get five. So this is an example. Uh, 
to find the square root and with this we will calculate it directly. To find the maximum is simple that among the two values x and y whichever is greater it will simply print that. Okay. So what we need to do we have already covered all the programs over here like power, integer division, modulus, square root and mix. These all arithmetic operators are covered. Now what is our goal? We will execute it. So here I will firstly save it file, save as and then I am changing the name as operators.pl because here I am here I am using all the operators or I can simply like arithmetic operator as over here I am only implementing arithmetic operator so arithmetic operators.pl is the file name I am saving as type all files and then save so when I see this this is the file that is created just double click and it says 3280 bytes written and 54 lines read and this is compiled that is there is no error in our program ok so let's run it each of the now we will run each of the operator one by one in our console so let's start with the sum sum and let's take the sum of 12 comma 15 and then a period period is first to execute the program then it will write as 27 that's okay now let's take the difference as same difference maybe 12 or 15 then period then it will show it minus t that is it is also working for negative values also okay next mul here i am taking as 15 comma 2 then period that is 30 it's okay it's correct then next is next let's try for the division so for device div let's divide um 18 comma 3 okay it's 6.0 you can see that it's 6.0 let's try for some floating values for which we will get the float result type so let's write 19 comma 3 in this case you can see what i have mentioned that for division we will also get the float values so here i am also getting the float values now next try for power first and then integer division we are trying so for power I am writing POW the rule and two values. Let's take I want let it take an example that I want to take the power of 2 to the power 3. 2 comma 3. It means 2 to the power 3. I want the result of this. So just enter that 8.0. Next try for some other value like uh, 3 comma 3. That means 3 to the power 3. So in that case I will get result as this. Now let's start the discussion of integer division as i mentioned that integer division only give the result as the um, integer value not consider the float value so we must check it so i am calling here intd which is our loop rule and taking the two values let's simply take the values for which i'll actually get the integer for example 18 comma 3 so let's take uh, some value like 24 comma 4 for this, I am getting 6. That is accurate. So, let's see the case where I will get the full float value as the answer. So, but what is the goal of the, what is the task of the integer division? The task of the integer division, it will convert the float value into the integer value. For example, if I am taking 25,2. So, this result should be 12.5. But, I will get the output as 12. So it's 12. So I hope you got the clear difference between uh, division and integer division. Both are different from each other. Okay. Now let's case the take the case of modulus and then square root. So firstly I am taking the modulus. So mod, I'm finding the mod. Let's take the same example over here, 26, 13. Okay. So it is getting zero. It is correct. If I take 
mod 30 comma 13 ठीक है for this I'll get answer is 4 so it's correct it's 4 now let's find the square root of some value there is a uh, very interesting thing that uh, we will take calculate the square root of those number also those are not perfect uh, those don't have perfect square root for example if I calculate 9 then we know that 3 square is 9 that is a 3 but if I calculate something value like that don't have a square root for example 10 so it will give answer for that also the values that don't have perfect square root these also can be solved by this method in Prolog ok so here I will get the value as 10 let's try for some big number like uh, 135 or something so here you are getting this value so you can check if you multiply this number by 2 times then you will get the answer as 135 square root is something that is 2 power 2 variable key power 2 that is square root so if you do the square of this value then you will definitely get the result as this next rule is for maximum so maximum we are trying maximum let's take the two values here for example I am taking 90 and 5 simply so for this just enter so here I get 90 if I write in reverse way like a smaller number at first place and a greater number at second place then also it will work fine ok so this uh, all arithmetic operators are discussed I hope uh, you all get the clear idea of each of the operator still if you have any doubt of this then let me know in comment section and if you really like the video do like and share thank you